here to answer this is international law attorney Raul Manchanda. And Raul, uh, I'm glad you have an interla international law background because the law is just a little bit different down there. Now, so the Capo brothers, to make sure I get this right, they're arrested on suspicion of having abducted, raped, and killed. Right. Natalie Holloway. This is monumental. This is colossal, and this is huge. Uh, they must have some new evidence. In a Rubin law, in order to rearrest somebody, you have to have a new, uh, a new level of facts and evidence to actually go in and arrest somebody. Threshold it's higher or lower? Much though? higher threshold. Much of higher. Much higher. To rearrest somebody, this is sort of tantamount to admitting failure. So there, there must be some smoking gun there that we don't know about, but they definitely have some more information. If this evidence was around, perhaps it may have been around for some time, don't you think the, the Calpo brothers might have fled the country? Well, they probably were not allowed to leave the country. Mm -hmm. uh, there was probably some information behind the scenes of, of, of disallowing them to, to leave the country. They may be keeping their passports, maybe holding them there, but house arrest or something. But they probably should, uh, could have left if they wanted to. Mm -hmm. uh, but probably the government probably put a little pressure on their them. Their attorney. That's happy with mm -hmm. Iran, too. I, th I think it was uh, Satish's attorney mm -hmm. said that he didn't know, he didn't know they were going to arrest him. Right. Well, I guess that you don't have to uh, notify the attorney. Well, it's probably more smoke and mirrors. I think that if the attorney isn't made aware, then he's not really admitting it's, it's, his, it's their fault mm -hmm. right now. So he's probably you know, playing it cool right now, but he probably knew about it. Uh, it's probably facetious to say he didn't know about the rearrest. We know that Natalie Holloway's family has been very involved in this. The mother has been down in Aruba for quite some time. Right. Uh, you know, they were saying, hey, look, you know, uh, we're, we're glad this has happened. We, we know that they've had some involvement somehow. Exactly what does the family really know in a case like this? Well, it's, it's funny you mention that. I mean, under Rubin Law, the evidence doesn't really have to be shared with the other side till the trial. Mm. So, you know, we, we know as much as probably they do, and, and they're probably keeping it under wraps because they're probably, uh, they probably are covering up failures that they've made. The Prime Minister Oduber once went on the record and said, we've made a lot of mistakes in this case, and he's the Prime Minister of the country. Yeah. So, you know, it really doesn't get any more uh, obvious than that that they've made a mistake in this case and probably sure botched the investigation. I heard some attorneys say, well, maybe the uh, Rubin Authority is taking so much heat that they're maybe just succumbing to the heat and the pressure. Mm -hmm. so, well, look, everybody wants these Calpo brothers arrested. Let's just go out and get them again. But then the interesting thing is this mm -hmm. new guy, right. Fred or F.A., mm -hmm. do, what do you know about the new person that was arrested? Well, there's very little information coming out about him. I mean, I've heard rumors, uh, but again, they're all conjecture. I, I know about as much as you guys do, but I think that it's probably something pretty serious. Maybe he's a co-conspirator. Maybe he was involved that night. Maybe <clears throat> somebody who supplied certain information or, or something. But it's very hard to say at this point because they're not releasing any information about him. Based he's certainly pivotal to this investigation. Based upon your knowledge mm -hmm. uh, of international law, um, trying to see if we can recover things from crime scenes, so on and so forth, evidence. How close are we uh, to getting uh, anywhere and solving this case? Are we going to see or hear more about this evidence in the upcoming week? Good question. I, I think that we're very, very close. I think with the rearrest of these two brothers, we're mm. probably very, very hot on the, on, on the end of this case. I think uh, Joran Vandersloot, uh, if anything, he's probably not going to be released on September 4th. I think he's probably going to be kept in jail. The brothers are probably going to be kept in jail for the full eight days that's allowed mm. under Rubin Law. But I think we're very, very close. With the rearrest of these two brothers, this is colossal. This is probably the biggest development in the case so far. But another big development, too, is the, the <clears throat> as many as six teenage girls coming forward and accusing Joran Vandersloot exactly. of... Right. Um, date rape thank you thank you right yes. exactly well you know the, the whole issue right now is credibility of those witnesses mm -hmm. and I'm sure the defense is going to have a field day with those uh, those six women but certainly that lends credibility to the story all right Raul Manchanda thank, thank you so much for joining